on the opportunities local students are getting a push along the path to their dream jobs. This is all thanks to the Annie Ruth Foundation. Dee Wilcox is the executive director of the foundation and Dale Mo is the vice president. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you, Thank you for having us. So let's talk about this organization and, and what services it offers young people. Well, the Annie Ruth Foundation, we started about in uh, October of 2012 and Thankfully, this month marks our fifth year of service to the First Coast. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, what we do is our, our purpose is to provide, uh, be a catalyst of positive change to uh, underserved communities in the, in the First Coast area. And uh, how we go about doing that is providing um, uh, different platforms as far as the, do you help me out? <laughs> <laughs> as far as the, uh, um, uh, providing outreach and resources to the uh, community through um, uh, our health initiatives, through our educational initiatives, and our uh, um, summer, internship, summer program. internship program, and then the, uh, of course, the, uh, the, the, uh, um, outreach certain outreaches that we have and I see these pictures of these young people they're doing everything is there is that person fixing an airplane there yes, yes that's our and air then I saw air, uh, hard hats and you know I've done several uh, summer internships and uh, one internship I worked in a law office and I realized that was not the right fit for me mm -hmm. so sometimes internships are a great opportunity for you to find out that something is or is not necessarily the right fit for you before you go committing to classes and things like that and then when I did an internship uh, right here at Channel 12 obviously that turned out to be the, the right fit for me so let's talk about those summer internship programs and the fields that you expose uh, these young people to and then what what's the benefit that both the employer gets and the young person gets at the end of the experience yes yeah, so our summer internship internship program is in its fifth consecutive year. What's unique about our program is the fact that we don't just place the students at any location. We actually take an interest in their career aspirations and then we place them in a safe professional environment that aligns with their career aspirations. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that's what we had in mind when we designed the program. Oftentimes, students or um, sometimes even adults, you ask them, what do you want to be? And, and they'll say something like, um, a pharmacist. Well, why do you want to be a pharmacist? Because they make lots of money. They don't know the requirements. They don't mm -hmm. know if they have the capacity. Mm -hmm. They don't know any of that, right? So through this program, just as you mentioned, they come in, we place them in that environment that aligns with what they think are their aspirations. And they either, at the end of that um, internship, they either say, great, I'm going to continue along this journey, or I don't think I want to go down this path. And well, that's okay. And that's definitely That's what okay. an internship is for. Absolutely. <laughs> there was a photo that displayed um, our aeronautical engineer. He ultimately wants to become a pilot, so he thought. We placed him at Sterling Flight School at Craig's Airport, and they taught him a whole lot about being a pilot. Even took him up in the air and after the internship, and he had an amazing experience. But what he said was, Ms. D., I don't think I want to be a pilot. I think I can die. The chances of me dying is great. You know? <laughs> that might be absolutely right. So he's going to continue along that path and continue to major in aeronautical engineering, but he definitely does he not prefer want to He preferred to stay be. on the ground. Absolutely. But still be a part of absolutely. the industry, but stay on the ground. But had he not come through the program, he would have continued along that path and wasted his time and his parents' money, money pursuing correct. that um, career. So how can the community uh, be supportive? I know I have internships within my company, and oh my goodness, I could, when they leave, I just heartbroken because I'm like, how am I going to live without them? Because they provide, they're such, they're exciting to me because there are these young people and they're excited about the industry and they get me excited back about mm -hmm. the industry that I'm in. And they really do provide such a wonderful service and such a great helping hand. How can the community, we know what's obviously in it for the young people, but how can the community get involved and support the yeah, foundation? Yeah, thank you for asking. A couple ways. Um, we're always looking for mentors. So if you're interested in mentoring one of these student interns, definitely contact us via our website, which is www.sowingseeds.today and contact us. Let us know that you are interested in mentoring and also um, what your field is because of course we, um, like I said, paired the intern with the um, business that align with their career aspirations. 
Another um, thing that the community can do is definitely funding. The number of students that we put to work each year totally depends on the amount of money that we bring in. Last year, we There's had... There's a little fly that's just falling in love <laughs> with you. I feel fly. so bad. You've been doing so good punching through. <laughs> Dale, take care of that for her. There you go. Last year, <laughs> last year we were able to put 50% of the students to work. Um, we didn't know that until a grant came through for us at the very end. Um, so again, our ultimate goal is to put every student to work who applies but of course that depends on the amount of funding that comes through to support the program. Well, thank you both so much for being here. What a wonderful program and it's a great way to get young people excited. Registration is going on now.